lets the crowd fondle and finger in public. What's up, Insomniacs? It's Bruce, the coolest nerds you know. Five topics, we're gonna get right into it. You already know what I do with these topics. We just touch on them, say what we gotta say, move on. And as always, if you don't like any of these topics, just wait to the next episode. Maybe I'm talking about something that you love. But let's start off with Team Android. This is the uh, Seven Edge was normally a note guy but really wasn't feeling note five with that being said the note seven is supposed to come out later on this year now there was supposed to be a note six but they decided to skip past the name of the note six because of the seven edge being out of the six all or whatever so they figured let's just jump right to note seven not to confuse anybody with the edge sevens and all or whatever so note seven i've been hearing good things i heard they're supposed to have six gig ram i'm i'm I, that was before now I'm not hearing it as much but it's supposed to be there now they're saying it's not supposed to have the 4k display it's gonna have the quad HD so it will have the same display as the uh, the edge 7 that I have right here I mean I am a I mean I'm a lover of Android phones so I definitely want the note 7 when it comes out supposed to have a 12 megapixel camera on the back five megapixels on the front, but the sensor is supposed to be better and capture more light. So even though it's not more megapixels than some of the other phones, it's supposed to have a better sensor. So I think I'm probably gonna go with it when it comes out. And by the way, I really hated the Note 5. It was pretty much an Edge 6 with the stylus, no, and you couldn't put any uh, memory cards or nothing in it. I didn't like it. I felt like it was insulting by Samsung to come out with that phone. I mean, they think that we're stupid. Maybe we are, but just don't insult us with a phone like that again. So high hopes for the Note 7 later on this year. So which one do you like? Team Android, Team iPhone? Let me know in the comments below. And since we're talking about the Galaxy, Independence Day Resurgence, AKA Independence Day 2, came out this past weekend. And I'm gonna go check the movie out myself because I was actually a fan of the first movie. It didn't do so well in the US, which is, kind of stupid for a movie called independence day to not do that well in the u.s uh it did like 100 million overseas or whatever i mean i guess no will smith no blockbuster uh, i mean that's the only thing you really say about that i'm probably gonna watch it later on this week and i may come back and do a review on it. i may do some movie reviews some whatever i don't know like i said i just want to have some fun with this channel so later on this week i may have an independence day um movie review for you hopes for the movie are not that great because it really didn't do that well in the u.s americans didn't support it as well as they thought they would you know i thought we were supposed to be making america great again Go back. guess not speaking of making america great again the wackos in texas got all amped up and decided let's ramp up the conversation like they do every six months about texas seceding from the united states <laughs> if i'm not mistaken didn't we pretty much see how this would go down in an episode of family guy Diane, I'm here at the Victorian front where the U.S. has cut off electricity, water, and gas to the tiny four-bedroom republic. The situation is very tense and extremely dangerous. It's only a matter of time before, uh... Oh, my God, they've opened fire. All right, looks like things are getting very heated here. This is not a safe place to be. And now sports. My whole take on it is Texas, get your head out of your ass. Texas used to be a part of Mexico at one point, And we just know how much Texans love Mexico. You're always complaining about people speaking Spanish and about the Mexican flags in schools. You just always, you love it so much. But actually, if you seceded from the union and went back, you'd actually, what, go back to Mexico? Because that's... Like I said, Texas should be part of Mexico. But Texas wants to be its own country, which it can't. It's That's just ridiculous. So take your heads out of your... No, no, no. Okay, well, before I even say that, I have friends in Texas. I mean, so I can't... It's not all Texans. If this applies to you, then it applies to you. Take your head out of your ass. Please. 
It's not gonna work. You can't even leave the union anyway. Why do you all talk about it every six months? And I could really get into why they, I could really get into why Texas really can't secede from the union, but there's a good video over on uh, CGP Gray's channel. You can check it out. There's a link below where CGP Gray talks about Texas seceding from the union because they've talked about it so much that someone actually had to make a video about it. But anyway, keeping in the theme of assholes, we have a new asshole that's got away with rape again. Former Indiana University student, John Enoch, he just got away with rape. Didn't, I mean, we just saw Brock Turner get away with rape. And I say get away because he only, he's only doing like three months, just a few weeks ago. So this guy named John Enoch got away with two rapes, two rapes. DNA, witnesses, everything. He served one day in jail and is getting one year probation. DNA and witnesses and this asshole gets probation for two rapes. The only thing that worries me about this whole story, which I'm not even going to spend too much time on this jerk, but the only thing that gets me about this story is like, what are we pretty much saying at this point? Rape is just not that bad anymore. Is that eh, it's like what is like a soul soul thing, you know, you know, and with the Brock Turner case and this one here, it, it's like we're sending the message that rape is OK and it's completely not OK. But that's all this jerk is going to get in this particular rundown. So let's move on to a much lighter note. This is my favorite thing that I wanted to talk about. It's just, a matter of fact, I just I actually wanted to make the rundown just about this, but I figured I'd give you some more than than just this story right here. But uh, if you go over to unlimitedmuse.com, they have a lot of risque photos of sexualized women and whatnot in the name of art. Look, I'm not complaining at all. I mean, it's pretty much just naked photos. It's, their latest offering is a very close to a soft porn offered in a public space with very awkward staring. So a street performer named Milo Moray, Milo Moray, armed with a mirrored box and a bullhorn, <laughs> lets the crowd fondle her tits and finger her vagina in public. Yes, I said that. Fondle her tits and finger her vagina in public inside of this mirrored box, right? So she's <laughs> so she's so she's on her bullhorn. Come one, come all, come oh okay, let me let me stop with that. Okay, so she says she's doing this to support gender equality and a woman's right to be touched when she wants to be touched. For the woman's rights and sexual equality because we decide by ourselves when we will be touched or not. Isn't that everybody's right to be touched whenever you want to be touched? Well, I don't understand. So I think she just wants some action and a little bit of fame and what better way to do it than to get fondled in public. Oh, and by the way, she stands out there with a stopwatch. You only have 30 seconds while she stares awkwardly in your eyes while you do that. You have 30 seconds to pretty much go to town on this woman inside of this box. Now, imagine if a man was stood out in the street with a box. It's my dick in a box. My dick in a box, baby. Asking for hand jobs and people to, to fondle his ball out there. Come, come on. He would not be awkwardly staring in people's eyes while he's getting jerked off in the street. You know why? He would be preoccupied with being tased, beaten, and dragged behind a police car. <laughs> That's why a man would never do this street performance, this street art, or whatever she wants to call it. Look, I'm not hating on her, whatever. I mean, to be honest, this is not really a movement. This is something that I'm probably gonna watch again after I edit this video. That's exactly what it is, but Look, you can go and I guess get prints from the shoot at unlimitedmuse.com. World Star Hip Hop actually has the uncensored link of her performing this on video in the street. You can check it out. All Everything I've talked about, check it out. The links are below. I'm gonna wrap this video up on that note. Hey, if you liked any or all of this video, make sure you assault and abuse that thumbs up, that like button. Subscribe if you wanna get more videos from me. Check out my other channel over in Genius Insomniac. This is Genius Insomniac 2. You can check out my other channel, Genius Insomniac. Link below again. But that's all. I'm signing off. As always, I'm Bruce. Coolest nerd you know. It's my dick in a box. Ooh.